Hey guys, welcome to hopefully my last video in the complication series. I'm going to talk a little bit faster. If you haven't seen any of the videos before, you should go check them out because you need to look at them because this one won't make any sense. So in my last video I covered that I'm still getting the and I have to take a tablet before each meal, otherwise I hurt my food and community nurse is organized to come and visit me. The day I get back is actually the Saturday, so um, I go through the Saturday and the Sunday, and the community nurse comes on the Monday. She comes in and she does like three pages of a questionnaire, and um, she guesstimates how much pus is in my bag. This bag actually has markings on it, but it, um, it's only from 50 mils up, so um, it was about 20, uh, sorry, it was about 40 mils, so she was just really estimating. When I was in the hospital, they would actually empty it into a container, and then the container would have markings on it, or they would empty it into a, con a container with no markings, and they would suck it up with this tube which had markings on it um, to, to get a, a true estimate. Um, a true estimate, but a, a true, you know, true volume, or something like that, or whatever. So, um, so the community nurse is really guesstimating how much is in the bag, which I could do myself, and empties it into the toilet under her supervision. So I had to go into the toilet, kneel down, and then empty it into the empty the bag into the toilet, which I did myself. So at this point, I, I'm not really feeling that the community nurse is really doing it much. I'm not saying the community nurses aren't great. I'm just saying that in my particular situation, I didn't really need one. On the second day, a community nurse comes in the door, introduces herself, has a look at the bag, says there's about 40 mils in there, really for my information only, says, can you empty it yourself? I says, yes. And she says, okay, see you later. So the community nurse on the second day was in the house for about a roughly one, one and a half to two minutes. So at that point, I was like, okay, I don't need a community nurse, I can do it myself. Um, things start to go downhill because I'm taking off my antibiotic. The surgeon said when I left hospital, finish off the box of antibiotics and then don't get any more. Little did he realize, I think, that there was really only about two tablets left, keeping in mind that I have two tablets a day. So there was only like a day left. So I started going um, started going downhill, re really. And um, I was teed up to go and see a local surgeon who does lap bands, because in my town it's quite small. And um, I actually went for him for an interview because I was going to get a lap band originally. And he actually sent me on to Dr. Talbot for the, the sleeve. So um, that surgeon had a look at me didn't like what he saw, sent me to the local hospital for a blood test and a scan. Blood test came back fine for my situation, but the scan came back and said that the stint has slipped. The stint is no longer in the position it should be and needs to be removed ASAP. So, um, I already said that line. A trip back to the hospital. I stay the night. Um, the surgery, it's an endoscopy surgery, so non-invasive, um, I think it's called. They didn't hurt my skin, put it that way. And they go down, they pull it out the next day, and I wake up, and um, apart from my throat hurting quite a bit, from them removing the stent or the utensils or whatnot, they actually scrape my throat by accident, which healed in a couple of days anyway. Um, I was fine. The surgeon wanted me to stay that night just to make sure everything was good. And the next day, um, I was released. So from about that point on, I was... Oh, actually, sorry, I missed the point. They, would, they gave me a blue dye in cordial. So they gave me a cup of cordial and they mixed some blue dye in there. And um, I had to drink that. It was roughly more than a cup. Um, it tasted absolutely disgusting. Um, and it gave me a headache. It, would, it tasted that bad. And what they were looking for was that I would drink the blue fluid and it would go down to my stomach. And if there was any hole in my stomach from where the stint was no longer covering, it would leak out, the drain would suck it up, and I would get a blue substance in my drain bag thingamabob that's attached to my side. 
thank goodness a little bit later there was no blue in the bag so I was released the next day so yeah so from that point on um, yes that's the last point so I'm freestyling now so from that point on um, I basically started my holiday I missed my cruise um, my dad stayed behind with me and um, some family friends took our place on the cruise so uh, we had uh, Christmas in Sydney with uh, my grandma and um, it's pretty much been smooth sailing from there uh, and not on any protein drinks I've only just got a call from the doctor saying that I could have sorry the surgeon that I could have the, the drain removed and I could stop my antibiotic which is heaven because my antibiotic was one of the worst tablets I could have taken and um, you know I'm feeling fine I've lost a lot of weight and so I lost a lot of weight, weight rapidly so basically I'm just trying to get as much protein as I can through my food um, and sort of calorie and fat content isn't really a worry at the moment because basically I've, you know I've, it's taking protein from all the places it shouldn't so the protein is the number one at this point and um, I have a goal set for my birthday, which is June of this year, to weigh, I think it's 80 kilograms. So at this point, that's only another 26 kilograms for half a year, which is um, very realistic. So I'm very much under the line, so at the moment, it's just trying to get as much protein as possible. So uh, if you guys have any questions at all, I'm very pleased to answer them. Um, any questions about my complications or about my surgery or anything like that, I'm also um, contemplating doing a live um, feed via Stick'em or Uvo, I think some other site's called, which basically just lets you type a question and I'm here live and I can answer it. So if you guys sort of like that idea, then um, leave a comment. I'll also post it up somewhere else maybe um, so everyone can see. So that's the end of my complication series of videos. Um, I hope it sort of shed some light on what can happen. My surgeon told me that I'm one in 900. So for every 900 people he operates on, only one sort of turn out like this. Um, and he's done a lot of surgeries, and he's he hasn't had a stomach abscess or a situation like me. So if you're contemplating surgery, or you know someone who's contemplating surgery, you should really send this link on. But um, you know, I, I really don't regret doing the surgery and um, when I sat at his desk before we teed up the surgery and he said there's risks I knew there was risks, I knew that I could come out with a stomach abscess, well I didn't know that I could come out with a stomach abscess but I knew a lot of things could go wrong and that's the risk you run um, but you know it's sort of a step back S step back, setback, minor setback um, you know four steps forward, two steps back and then forward onwards no more back so I hope that if you're watching this and you have surgery scheduled that you take it into consideration and I really hope that your surgery goes excellent and you have nothing that I had no, no abscess, no nausea, no, none of that because it's, it's not, not nice, it's not good and if you're really worried you shouldn't be too worried unless you had the you had a lotto ticket and you won. <laughs> Otherwise, the odds are it won't be you. But you really should take it into consideration that it could be you. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or anything, leave a comment. Leave a comment on my profile page. Email me. Contact me in some way, and um, I'll be happy to to get back to you or make a video or anything like that. So thank you for watching my video, and um, I hope to see you in the future.